I'm very happy to be here and share with you that BSF is today launching a new product, Ultramid Advanced N, a long chain PPA, a superhero for engineers, for our customers that will be available globally in the market. Just look at this thing. Great. So um, BSF has been present in the polyamide world since over 60 years. We've been selling Ultramid A and B compounds to all our customers. Globally, we are one of the largest, if not the largest, polyamide supplier to the market today. And we've developed many different grades over the years. Yeah. Over 25 years back, we actually initiated or supported to develop the PPA market with our Ultramid T product line. This was also very early in its time, and this was following new trends in the market at that point for new markets, new applications, etc. And we've been selling Ultramid T for over 25 years in the market, also globally. Today, we see that there are new trends coming up in the market. So, miniaturization, which means basically downsizing. You all remember taking an example of a mobile phone, how it looked like five to 10 years back, and today how the phones look like, it's completely different, yeah? They are a lot more compact, the performance is even better, and this requires also then materials that can withstand higher temperatures and can still perform and be safe, that can be molded into smaller shapes, that can be functionally integrated into an entire system that delivers performance, yeah? And even better performance, if not that. And to do this and to support our customers to be more successful and to push forward innovation, we are launching Ultramid Advanced 10, which is a long chain PPA in the market as of now. You might ask, where does this PPA product find applications? And yeah, so we see applications across various industries as of today. Um, just taking the first example for automotive industry, applications such as gear wheels. Gear wheels are being miniaturized, yeah? So they have higher performance requirements and also working under elevated temperatures. These, these gear wheels need new materials that can at least perform in these higher temperature conditions and also deliver tribological requirements of the system, friction, wear, all these kind of aspects. Another aspect is structural parts. Automotive structural parts are being put into contact with, with challenging media like hot oil, lubricants, glazantine, for example, and all this at elevated temperatures. For this, you need special material again, and Ultramid Advanced N will be the material of choice for our customers. For E and E applications, higher performance requirements are higher performance and also quality actually is one of the key deliverable or key need of our customer. That's a trend as well that we are following. Here for applications such as connectors, switches, SMD application, SMD based applications, Ultramid Advanced N will be the material of choice. For consumer appliances, I just mentioned that earlier. Smaller, smaller, higher performance, and there we need to give, uh, provide a material that can actually deliver the requirements of our customers in a safe manner. Yeah? That can be, for example, soldered in a lead-free environment. So these are some of the apl applications, and I'd just like to take you through a little bit more into detail, so we go step by step into details, so please follow the Red Rabbit, uh, what, what is the basis? Why does this material find applications across such a broad portfolio of uh, industries and also in detail applications? It's a long chain PPA, which means that it has a high glass transition temperature, 125 degrees Celsius, and it can support and deliver stable mechanical properties over this broad range. Yeah? It is a long chain PPA, and one of the aspects of long chain PPA is low water uptake, right? And over here, Ultramed Advanced N is best in class when it comes to PPA. And as a result of the low water uptake has excellent dimensional stability, 
which means it can be used to manufacture very small, high-precision parts with plastics. Outstanding chemical resistance, I mentioned that a little bit earlier, and it has excellent chemical resistance against hot oils, lubricants, fuels, various kinds of acids, it can withstand acids, and we'll come to that a little bit better, a little bit later in detail. Better processing. Processing is a big topic with PPA, right? So we've made sure that we put all our expertise that we've gathered over the years into developing a product and a compound portfolio that can actually be processed better by our customers. Yeah? And naturally, at the end of the day, when it comes down to what kind of a portfolio we have, we know that in this market, we need to develop products with our customers. Yeah? So we have a basic broad portfolio where your unreinforced grades, high or different glass fiber reinforcements, different loadings over there, different kind of packages, heat and uh, heat stabilizer and flame retardant packages, as well as some special grades which are more to do with carbon fiber and short so short carbon fiber or long glass fiber, etc. So that gives you a good overview on apl applications where we find and what is actually important, the product properties. Yeah. I'd like to go into detail a little bit more <laughs> um, on the product properties. This is a graph, this is a standard test graph for models um, in a dry state. And we've compared over your Ultramid Advanced 10 versus PA66. Yeah. And you can see that there's, a broad, there's already a broad gap in the dry state when it comes to an advanced N and a PA66. Modulus within the ultramid advanced N will only be lost at around 125 degrees Celsius, whereas in PA66, this is already lost at 50. Yeah. In the wet condition, and this is not shown on the graph here, but ultramid advanced N would reduce its glass transition temperature to 95 degrees Celsius and still be operatable or deliver performance, whereas PA66 would lose its modulus already at zero degrees Celsius, or close to zero degrees Celsius. What is also very interesting, and this is also why we chose PA66, is that normally after the glass transition temperature, PA66 is well known in the market to deliver performance. Over your ad advanced N actually delivers also superior performance than PA66. Yeah, that's also the reason why we share this graph with you. I mentioned a little bit earlier about outstanding chemical resistance, and over here we can just see hot oil up to 120 degrees Celsius, glyzantine up to 135 degrees Celsius. It can resist acids, aggressive fuels. We know that fuels nowadays are being added, so methanol is being added into fuels, um, and over here standard PPAs cannot resist that. Your ultramid advanced and again is special. Uh, and more suitable in contact with aggressive media. Another topic, your advanced N is best in class, low water uptake. You can see a factor of two versus a 60 grade from the market, 35% 60 grade from the market. And this low water uptake I mentioned earlier, high dimensional stability, but also supports us for no blistering during lead-free soldering. Yes, yeah? so it has Yedek class, class, class one, sorry, class science, uh, <laughs> class one uh, rating, and this is also something where we're very proud to say this is best in class. BSF is well known for flame retardant grades in the market, and we have applied this competency also to this portfolio. Yeah? So again, over here, we have achieved V0 rating um, for 0.4 mm for so really thin parts, for really small parts uh, that can be used for that. And we have also optimized the, the, the setup so that less corrosion, low migration, and also can be laser printable. So you can make smaller devices also still print out the grades over there. Yeah. So I think now coming back up uh, to, the, to the right level, uh, I think what I just want you to take this away with you today. Advanced N is the new superhero for engineers, yeah? for our customers. And BSF is very committed to this PPA market. 
we are more than happy to announce that this is out there, is available now in the market, and is supported then combined with BSF's technical expertise and our market understanding and customer access. BASF. We create chemistry.